The show obviously can't be on YouTube because Ian said people have died from the C-19 thing, and Hannah Claire followed up with the that V thing wasn't safe. Yesterday, Wednesday, May 8th, Tim cast IRL. Tim made the decision to pull the show. And I have the full transcript of the uncensored version. Go to TimCast.com, support him. Middle mega. So I'm going to go back to where the, the viewer did the super chat, or not super chat, but maybe it was a super chat, and asked about why you pulled this, why you don't notify us when you pull the stream. Tim Pool, have a, we have a chat here from Ratch says, I'm totally okay. When Tim has to pull the stream, what I don't like is that none of you guys at TimCast tell us anything anywhere else. Well, we do the uncensored show as fast as we can, uh, and then talk about it. There's, there's two big problems. One, guys, I'll be completely honest, if the show got banned- See, Tim just wants to get back into the show being banned, but uh, he's just being too, I think he's being too generous to his viewers here. This viewer here that says, when Tim has to pull the stream, what I don't like is none of you guys at TimCast tell us anything anywhere else. Bitch, you've got to support! What do you think is going to happen? I pulled the screen, st stream, why do you think I pulled the stream? And you're complaining that I'm not notifying you anywhere. Why don't you have a subscription? You don't, nobody has to subscribe, but you can't be complaining I don't notify you anywhere when we do it on the platform that's safe. How do we operate? How do we navigate censorship? That he, to me, that's got to be addressed head on. I'm going head up, head on with you. I did notify you. I'm notifying you right now. Well, we do the uncensored show as fast as we can, uh, and then talk about it. There's, there's two big problems. One, guys, I'll be completely honest, if the show got banned right now, it'd be a huge weight off my shoulders. I don't make money from the show. It's really stressful. I work 16-hour days. I could work 8-hour days and then skate the rest of the day and still be rich. And this is extremely difficult. People get mad that we don't tell them all the details. Why? We can still get a strike. We can get a strike right now, even though the show has been deleted. Doesn't matter. That is absolutely true. If you do a live stream and you do something that Google wants to give you a strike for, even if you delete the show, it, they can still give you the strike. I can get a call right now from Google and says, we don't care what you did. We're banning you. And so I'm desperately struggling to navigate censorship waters so a show can exist that will have a positive outcome that resists things like that V-thing mandates, rush that V-things, whatever your argument is. It can help push back against things like open borders, the dissolution of our community and kids getting their balls chopped off. But you can't just do that by being an ogreish retard who runs full speed at YouTube's gates, screaming, screw you, screw you, over and over again. What Tim's saying is, for some reason, there's these people that just don't understand how this thing works. And they criticize Tim for not going up more close to the line and testing the YouTube policies, more kind of like Steven Crowder. And he's like, I can't, that doesn't make sense. That what does that accomplish? It accomplishes absolutely nothing. That's what he's talking about right here. But you can't just do that by being an ogreish retard who runs full speed at YouTube's gates, screaming, screw you, screw you, over and over again. The problem that I will agree with people on is Tim has this opinion that says, well, if you can't put your job at risk for what you believe in, you're not sacrificing enough. But Tim, anybody, including myself on YouTube, is, is sacrificing to be on YouTube. So you can't have that position. I agree with people there. If that's a bad position from Tim to be like, well, you should quit your job over the V or you should, he, that's his position. He says that about the women swimmers. You should quit your, your life's work because of the transformer that wants to compete with you if you want to change things. And I'm like, Tim, you're making sacrifices too. So that's an inconsistency. That's a bad take from Tim. But what he's saying here is true. E, I explained this to the Occupy people a long time ago. I was like, you guys, you're basically a bunch of like rabble militia storming the emperor's fortress and his samurai are chopping you down. You must be like the noble ninja, and dress up like a water bearer, bow your head and sneak in slowly through the back window, and then you dispatch of the emperor when no one pays attention. But people demand that you unlive yourself and... What Tim is saying is, you've got to adapt like I'm doing. I'm, I changed the script here to say V instead of the full word. Um, I, I changed the script to not say unlive, to say unlive instead of something more harsh. Do I have to? I have no idea, but just in case. And he's saying, you've got to do what you've got to do. This is the platform. 
This is the this is the main platform. Why would you try to run away from it if you don't have to? But people demand that you unlive yourself and 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 destroy it because they don't understand. I respect it. I get it. It's very frustrating to not understand exactly what's going on. And there's not. That's not what we can do. We've explained it a while ago. If a show gets pulled off YouTube, and then we immediately go on the after show or the uncensored show and say, hey, we got banned because someone said, you know, the N-word or something. Then what happens is Antifa goes to YouTube and says, Timcast IRL just did X and then YouTube gives us a strike. Then the show gets suspended for- This is where I want to stop. He's going to talk about Daily Wire in a little bit, and I'm going to talk about this in other segments too. We don't know who's going to YouTube and saying, Timcast IRL did X. That could be Daily Wire too. And it's not impossible. I'm not accusing them of anything. It could be a, another competitor. could be anyone. But it could be Daily Wire, too. Seven days, which strips us, strips us of our revenue for the month. And the show already operates at relatively thin margins. We could fire a show to people. We've gone over the budget, but it doesn't ultimately make sense to do that. So the reality is Timcast IRL just makes enough money primarily with membership. We've been talking with Rumble and I've talked a little, uh, I, 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 I'm ready to say this. I've sent me on a few messages and he's responded. I don't want to act like there's anything that's a, there. That's a mess up translation, translation that he said, because I watched this. He said, I've sent Elon, Elon, E, super E, Elon Musk, a few messages and he's responded that it just didn't do the, the text, the, the voice to text properly. He's sent Elon a few messages and he's responded. Pretty big news there. He might have talked about that. I don't watch every uncensored show, but that was the first time I heard that. So he could be looking at doing some Tucker. I don't know if Tucker has a deal or not with them. It's, I don't know. But he sounds like, what's his name from CNN? Uh, Don Lamone was trying to get one too. I don't want to act like there's anything there. I've been talking with Rumble quite a bit about a deal. None of them have a deal that's viable. If we stop on YouTube and we do not get the YouTube... So here's the thing then, Tim. If if they can't... Okay, I see what I think I see what's happening. He's saying the deal that they're giving me for Timcast IRL or whatever the deal is, I would still have to trim down. I think the, what he's saying is I would still have to trim down Timcast IRL to maybe virtual interviews where you're not flying people in first class or what, you know, and putting up a hotel and all the extra costs that go into it. I think that's what he means too bad revenue, the show can't exist. It can be stripped, stripped way down. We can eliminate huge portions of the company and fire a bunch of people and operate on a bare bones in a bare bones way. Pro that is definitely possible. That is definitely something he's considering, in my opinion. If he can't get a deal, he's looking at all the options. Companies all over the country right now are just laying people off. Economy is not what you think. It, I mean, if somebody sold you that we're in a good economy, I would go ahead, go get your money back because uh, that's not what I'm seeing. Middle mega.